What's good world? Good morning, good afternoon, good night. It's another ET challenge, another day. Wake up, stay out your feelings, get it back. And just start up by knowing how great you are, you know? You gotta know how dope you are without needing validation. Like, trust me, like you gotta know that you are just popping. Nothing can can waver your thoughts, change your mindset, change your drive and everything. Like, you know, suffer now to enjoy the life that you want later. You know, that's one of the biggest things, you know. You gotta know how dope you are without the validations, without the celebrations, you know, with without the congratulations, without all that. You don't you don't need it. None of it. You need to know how you feel about you and what you're doing for you. That's the biggest thing of them all because most people is gonna make you feel like without their validation, what you're doing in life doesn't amount to anything. And I promise you, if you live your life according to that, you're gonna struggle for the rest of your life. You shouldn't care about nothing else but you, yourself. Like, of course, you want to give off, you know, blessings to everyone else, but it might not work that way. It might not be that easy, you know? So, one thing I can say is, you know, make sure you guys keep shooting for it, keep going for it. Like, don't give up. Don't, don't forget about the process. Don't forget about everything, you know? One thing that I've learned is that, you know, struggling is the, is the, is the best part of, of most success stories, you know? Yet, what you're going through now, this ugliness, will be the biggest part of your testimony later. You know what I mean? It'll be the biggest part of your testimony and you gotta just make sure you keep your foot on the gas pedal and keep pushing. One thing I can say is that I used to I used to always look for it. Like, you know, when I made that, that game winning shot or, you know, even when I bagged that, that fire girl, like, you know, I needed that validation from my boys. I needed that, you know. I needed the celebration to know like, you know, I did my thing. And this made me wonder how I was gonna raise my kids, you know? Cause think about it, like, when a child goes to school, a child doesn't get praised for everything that they do. Of course I want my child to know that I care and that I appreciate what they're doing in their life, but I don't wanna praise them for things that they're supposed to do, you know? You know, at first it's gonna be like a congratulatory, it's gonna be like, yeah, you know, you did this. When you walk, it's like, yay. You know, when you do this, good job. But then after a while, I'm gonna let them know, like, you know, the world isn't like how I am. And I want to prepare you for how the world is. Of course, I want you to have everything that I never had. But I want you to understand that it's going to be tough. You know, and, and this is, I mean, I want you guys to comment. Let me know what you think. Like, think about it. If every time, you know, you get an A or you get some, oh, good job. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. When you go into that work field, they're not telling you good job. You know, when you go into these schools and you get A's, I mean, these, these universities, it's like, that's what you're supposed to do. So I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in between what to do and what not to do. And, you know, I, you know, let me know what you guys think. You know, seriously, like, because this is big, you know. This can, can affect generations. And, and I don't have it figured out. This is like just a, a audible that I'm throwing out there that I want to see where you guys at with this, with this type of mental. But seriously, I'm just wondering, like, what, what would I do? What should I do? You know, just thinking, like... I don't want my kids to be so accustomed to the, the, the celebrations when they do something great, you know. I want them to know that they did their job, but I want them to know within themselves, you know. I want to raise my son and my, and my daughter off the, off the strength of, you know, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am wholesome, I can be whatever I want to be. I want them to know that embedded into their head, like almost like that school going to teach them Pledge of Allegiance, almost like they're going to know the Our Father Prayer, you know. I feel like, I feel like starting them off with a mindset of you know, solidarity, you know, something something that's really, really impactful, I think will will help them more beneficial than me congratulating them on the little things, you know, as a child, yes. And once they start getting at that level of, you know, going into pre K or first grade and stuff like that, like I think I think I think all of this matters. You know, I think I think this is a pretty big deal. And one thing I'll never do is I'll never talk down on them. You know, but I'm just thinking about how I was growing up. You know, I, I'm my toughest critic, man. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I'm, I'm hard on myself like no other, you know, and I just had to stay with it. I had to stay on top of it. And me staying on top of it, you know, I lost friends. I didn't hang out. I didn't go to parties. You know, it was, you know, and when I look back, you know, it was one of the best choices I made. One of the best decisions I made. You know, I got to travel the world, you know. I have, I have college degrees, of course, you know, like I said, I'm in a little bit of debt, but it's easy for somebody that doesn't have it to say, you don't need it, you know? 
But it's easy for somebody to say that you, they got it. They're like, oh, you really don't need it either. You know, what I'm doing in my life right now has nothing to do with my college degrees. And I have three of them things. You know, but what I'm doing right now is I'm living life. I'm, I'm, I'm exploring and, I, and I'm having fun with what I'm doing. You know, my fallback plan is not the worst of the worst. My fallback plan would be my college degrees. So, you know, you want to put yourself in a position where all these things that you're doing, you can be okay with it. You know, I remember when I first came home, it was like, you know, why do you have a college degree and you're not using it? You know, friends was asking, family was asking. And it was just like, I don't know, that's just not what I want to do. Like, I got it, you know? And me having it is 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 pretty big, but society tells you that you, you're you going to be married, or you, you know, by 30. You're going to have kids by 35. You're going to, you know, go to college at 18 and graduate by 21. None of that happened for me. None of that happened for me. My story was totally different. I went to college at maybe 20, left, came back, left, came back, left, came back, left, came back, played, came back. And I finished, what, 26, 27, 28, maybe? Like, like my story is not the typical story for everybody else, you know? And it's okay. It's, 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 it's understandable. We had to understand that, that there's a bigger picture to it all. But one thing that I can say is that if you live your life over these things, over these validations, you know, celebrations and stuff like that, it's going to be very hard for you to to enjoy your own life because every time you do something, you're going to be like, you're going to need that. No, look at yourself in the mirror and be like, yo, you it. You did that. Nobody else, you did that. You know what I mean? And, that, and that's the biggest thing. Like, if you can say that you did that and you know that you're great, somebody else showing you love, somebody else giving you, like, you know, the acknowledgement that you, 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 you get, it's just a compliment. You know, if you want the cake, right, of course you, you, you want everything with it. But the strawberry on top, the candles, you really don't need that. You want the cake. That's the whole idea of the whole thing. You wanna, you wanna eat the cake. You wanna be with the cake. You know what I mean? So that's the whole idea. Don't allow society to tell you that something else matters to you that it doesn't. You know what I mean? If if you wanna live your life to to work, to go on vacation, to travel the world, you do that. Period. Nobody should be telling you what you should do with your life and how your life should be lived and stuff like that. I disagree with that. I think I think you should do whatever you feel like you should do in your life and nobody should hold you to any standards that they can't hold themselves to. You know, the things that I hold myself to, the type of love that I give off is very much tough love. Like, you know, it's, it's much more like stay out your feelings, get a bag. Like, anybody got time for that? Anybody got time to be all emotional and stuff like, man, cut it out. You know, and and I feel like that'll, that'll, that'll transfer over the course of life over time. Those This is really big. You know, so I, this is just me, guys. This is just me. You know, I wonder when did, you know, all the acknowledgement, all the, the accolades become bigger than the actual thing. You know what I mean? Most of the time, most of us work in the dark. And people only see our success when we come to the light. And they're like, yo, we knew you could do it. How? You wasn't with me in the trenches. You wasn't with me when I was studying. You wasn't with me when I was broke, failure. When I wanted to take my life, when I wanted to end it all, when I wanted to be by myself, when I didn't want to love nobody. You wasn't with me, so how you always knew and believed? Because if you was always with me, you would have been there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, that's just my mind running a mile a minute. But listen, you're dope. You're popping, you're great. You're all that, all that, and all that. <laughs> Make sure you remember that, yo, and never forget that. Because the biggest thing of it all is not for nothing. If nobody else will support you, F it, I'm my own fan. Hope you guys like this video. Like I said, always like, comment, subscribe. You know, I got some suggestions on some videos. Some social experiments, stuff like that. I'm going to give it a try. See what you guys like. Still got some more Cali vids coming for you guys. And Patreon, I'll upload to you guys today. Alright. It's your boy Royalty. Over. And up.